Okay, it's uh, Easter weekend, and one of my projects is solar mount for the store-made solar panel that's mounted to the tree there. Thought was I was going to remove the mount and uh, take the solar panel off and put the solar panel on an old satellite uh, dish mount. There's a cup. This is where the dish went on to. And I saw another guy on uh, YouTube and he mounted his dish, uh, his uh, panel right on this. So I think that's a really good idea. So what I'm using for today, metal here. This is actually from mounting Ikea cabinets to wall. So you bolt this part into the wall and this part here, you put another bolt on and it can slide along this track and then you can move to where move your cabinets where you want them on the wall so my thought was I'll use these pre-existing holes to put onto these holes here and then I can put a bolt in here drill through the frame of my solar panel or come up some fancy little clamp thing so here's my little bolt it's got a little square part at the top and it fits nicely like in there and then it won't turn. So I'm going to come up like that. here by the fire. I don't want to bring it inside the cabin because it'll make the house smell like paint which isn't a good career move when you're up here with your spouse. So I'll let that sit for about 10 minutes, break for some lunch, come out give another blast and, uh, and then I'll continue on with the uh, new solar panel mode. So here it is here. I'll just slide it out for now. There's a bolt, like hex bolt, a little piece of rubber and a washer. And that just insert the shaft into another piece here. And then I greased it all up and it slides perfectly over this, I think it's a top rail section of a chain link fence. I add a little bit more strength. I took this spare 4x4 pressure treated post, mounted it to the side of the cabin. What I'll do eventually is I'll take a leg and I'll put a leg through here and then it'll go through the fish board and then to this post up here. EMT wall, like electrical EMT pipe. So I'll put the pipes onto there. Took a piece of this spare angle iron, I don't know where I found it, and I cut little sections, made these little Z clamps. And I'll go on like that. And this part here will go into the track. Okay, I got them done. So some of them are better than others. And now I'm gonna drill a hole into here. And that's the part that's gonna go sliding on the track.
Okay, I just put it up on the mount. And I notice it's a little bit crooked. So, the neat thing about these satellite mounts is I can do this bolt here, and that one there, and the one on the other side. And this whole thing can turn like this, so I can level it out. So. Wire's just hooked up for now. Now I'm just running some uh, PVC conduit. I'm gonna run it right down to the base here. I'm just gonna go through that little hole. Decided to use my old offshore made MPPT 15 amp charge controller. That's what I'm gonna put on the uh, uh, factory made solar panel. Okay. Got it all finished. Well, this system works really good for a solar panel. And looks like we're gonna get some really good 12 o'clock sun when it comes around. It's easy to mount. Really happy how it works. So I suggest anyone that have a one solar panel and you wanna mount it, this kind of setup. Is, works really well. Thanks for watching.